Today, I'm gonna to give you three tips on how to set up a fluke to help increase your hookup ratio. Number three is using a belly treble hook like this. Take a needle and you can thread it through the bottom of the bait and you can hook up your treble hook to it. However, there are negatives. You're gonna gut hook some fish and it's not very weedless. My number two rigging tip for a fluke in the fall is the donkey rig. The first leader of the, the higher up fluke, you want it to be about five inches long and I'm going with a one-aught wide gap EWG style hook and you're gonna put that to a swivel up the line and you're gonna use a bobber stopper like this right here just to keep it from going all the way up the line. It keeps it kind of in place. Then you're gonna attach that to another swivel and from that swivel, you're gonna go all the way down here, uh, 10, 12 inches. Generally speaking, 12 inches is really good. And you're gonna tie your second fluke. You wanna go with a heavier hook, generally speaking. You're going with a one-aught or two-aught with your upper bait. Go with a three-aught bait, a three-aught hook with the bait down here. Or if you need to really get deep, use a weighted EWG style hook. This will help keep the baits darting and dancing in different parts of the water column and keeping them from getting clumped up. The last thing about this would be go with two different colors. I really like that to give the fish something else to look at. Number one. So my number one way to rig a fluke in the fall to really maximize our hookup ratio is to go with a straight shank hook. And then if we still need to really work on our hookup percentage, I go with a treble hook stinger hook on the back. I prefer going with a VMC Nico, Nico rig hook. One knot is usually good for the uh, super fluke juniors. Add a treble hook right there to the stinger, just like that. And that'll get side swiping fish, fish that swipe and, and don't get it. But because it's on top of the bait, unlike the belly hook, it's a little bit more weed resistant and you're not gonna gut hook as many fish as you would if it was on the bottom of the bait. To keep the hook there, just take some laminating paper, cut out little pieces of it, and you can use that as a stopper. Or use a hole punch and punch out plastic on an old milk jug. Either way will work. Guys, I hope that's helpful. I'll see you next time.